some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Hillsborough County, Florida, at the local courthouse as a frauditor named Auditing While Black attempts to uh, enter a secure area but is denied access and he demands to speak to a supervisor and well someone shows up and he is still denied access so let's go ahead and sit back relax and enjoy the show okay we got the hillsborough county building this is a quartz building See if they respect the rights of the people. Well, my smooth brain uh, friend, uh, you should uh, at least go on to the uh, court website and take a look at the rules about filming on location there. And believe me, I will be covering those here shortly because you know what? You're obviously not going to even bother looking it up nor covering them because you know what? That's just not going to fit your little narrative you're wanting to go with here that your rights were violated and everything like that. But you know what? They were not. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, you go. Thanks, sir. You have a good day. You too. Right. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, what, uh, upstairs, in order to go upstairs, you have to have a purpose to go upstairs. Yeah. What are you guys seeing upstairs? I'm documenting the building. No, you can't come inside the building. You have to have a purpose to go uh, I just told you my purpose. No, you can't come in this way. Do you know what that purpose is? Well, you say you want to document the building, so... And, and you know that's a First Amendment protected activity? Uh, in this the building, the reason why I have this is for people that have a reason to go upstairs on this side here. Yeah, I just let you know my reason. That's not, you, that's not a reason enough. Well, dude, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you just can't walk in there and film the courthouse in Hillsborough County, Florida, because, well, it's in their policy, which is written by the judges, and if it was unconstitutional, it would have been struck down already. So deal with it. it this applies in the hallways, corridors, lobbies, and even the courtrooms, you moron. So, I will leave a link in the description box below, just so you can take a look at it and realize where you effed up at. So, why don't you do some actual research and figure this stuff out, instead of uh, listening to all these other auditors who are leading you down the wrong path, you nitwit. What do you mean? It's okay. a first. It's a first amendment protected area. First amendment right, but only to unrestricted areas. This is a restricted area. That's res and it says restricted. Okay, this is a restricted area only for. That's the reason why this is here, for people that's gonna, people that have appointments or purpose to be at the state attorney's office. Yeah, but you're saying my purpose. You're saying my purpose is invalid, but it's a valid purpose. It's official business. Okay, then uh, you could try to go. You can't come in, though. So you're not coming in. Yeah, you could check, you could, you could video everything here. You could go to the main courtroom, which you could open to the public, but this is not open to the public. You mind tell me your officer? My name is Angel. Officer? Oyola. Oyola? Yes. Do you have a number on your badge? No, sir. Okay. No number on your badge. All right, and you're denying me access to uh, this part of the building? That's correct, sir. Okay. Because this, uh, this is the state attorney's office, you have to have a purpose. I just told you my purpose several times. Oh, by the way, Mr. Smartass Frauditor, who thinks his rights are being violated, if you actually look up these uh, courthouse policies and procedures, you'll notice that it says you have to give advance notice to the judge or their designee to be able to do this, with their permission, of course. So, here's what you do. You uh, file a notice with the judge, and they will look into it and approve or deny it. That way, it's all done properly. So you're not being denied anything unless there's some uh, reason, like a court proceeding going on. So why don't you drop the persecution complex and get a life? I understand. Okay, but, I hope you did. Okay. And what's the name of your security company? Allied Universal. Okay, Allied again. Do you, do you have the... Uh, number to your supervisor. I want to speak to your... 
of Allied Security. My supervisor is over at the next building, 700 building. 700 building, yes, okay. Sir. But you don't have that number? No, I don't have this number, no, Okay. Sir. And what's the name uh, of the building he's at? 700, which is over here at the corner. Okay. Yeah, I don't have this number. I could give you the, the immediate supervisor who is over at the main court building, but the guy that the guy that's in charge of this account, all, all the gov government buildings, he's over there across the street at 700. All right, I'll go talk to him. You want to talk to Butler, who is just the media supervisor? No, he's not here. Who would I be going? You say he's the at the building over there. The media so. supervisor right now, that's the supervisor over at the, at the uh, court building. Mm -hmm. His name is White today. Mr. White is here today. So you can speak to Mr. White. Let me see if I have this phone number here. Contacts. Yeah, the other court building across the street is open to everybody in the... It's open to all public. There's no restrictions over there. And, and there's no signs that say that that area is restricted? Like I said, it's only for people that have appointments, you know, or people that have a purpose that has to do with a case with the state attorney's office. People that are coming in to drop charges, any a witness, things like that. And that's what, that's what was told to you during your training? That's correct, sir. That's okay. What, that's what we have to do here. But somebody told you that from, from your training, you saying? That's correct, sir. Okay. Let me see what I tell you here. Uh, messages. Right. Well, they go round and round about this for a few minutes, and then the media director of the courthouse shows up. So let's see what she has to say about this. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? Dropping charge. Well, I have a purpose. Okay. So, so what's the purpose? I t I'm an independent journalist gathering content for a story. I told you I'm documenting okay. already. Have you contacted the state attorney's office? So I'm the, I'm the media director for the state attorney. Okay. I haven't heard from you, so if I would be happy to give you my information. You can email me and we can talk about whatever you need, but we don't have anything on file for you coming in today to, to gather any content. What do you mean? There's... Do you see what I just told you on here, dude? That you have to give advance notice to somebody that who's uh, the judge's designee, and it appears that this is their designee, the media director. So therefore, you've got to give adva advance notice to her in order for you to do this. And if you would have given her advance notice a long time ago, maybe a day or two ahead of time, maybe you'd be able to be allowed to walk around the building and film with an escort. And then you would have gotten your content if you actually had a story. But, but no, that's not going to fit your little narrative right there that you're being persecuted because uh, you're a journalist. No, that's not going to fit your little narrative right there. Of course not. As a citizen of this uh, country, mm -hmm. right? I mean, uh -huh. you can just walk into a school. And Why are you naming a school? We're not in a school. Not. Because that's a public building, and this is because a public I, I explained to But a school is different. Building, but there's only certain areas are restricted. Like yeah. This is a restricted area. And you need a purpose. This is, this is, this right, is and so I'm here. telling you since you're a member of the media, you said that I'm yeah. the, the media director, so if okay. you want to reach out to me via yes, email, I can get you set up with whatever you need. They're, they're close well, go ahead and say email. I can they get it to you right now. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, it's Aaron.Maloney at mm. SAO13TH.com. Okay. Okay. But that still uh, yeah, this doesn't can, satisfy, satisfy yeah, what I'm here to do. This, my man. I'm sorry. Okay. Can you finish getting the number that you... Yes. Here you go. The supervisor that is on shift today, is uh, his name is Mr. White. 
and his phone number is 813-285-3376. A lot of people are misinformed about the rights of citizens. You say Mr. White? Yes, sir. You know, there's certain, there's, something, there's certain places in public buildings that are restricted. I get that. So, it would be the areas that said uh, restricted or authorized personnel only. Like I went down there and it was a sign on the window that said restricted area. Mm -hmm. Those are the areas I can't go in. But as far as public areas, yeah. this is public. Just like when you try to stop me from going down that hallway. Yeah, but I was finding where you needed to go. I yeah, just want to make sure you can go to the. Yeah, but floor. first you said I couldn't go down this yeah, hallway. Just make sure that you. Yeah, but it's an open, but it's an open hallway. Yes. Just like if I Anything go, that's if I open go, here, you, you could. Yeah, you, so you upstairs is open until you get into a, a restricted area or a office that is I can't, locked up. I, I've been told nobody comes through here unless they have an appointment. Okay, they okay. have a purpose with the state attorney's office. Okay, and they have the documentation and, and, that they are here as a witness to a case. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have an appointment to see someone yeah. or somebody that has the documentation because they want to drop the, the charges against someone. Right, and Mr. White would be the one who told you that. No, Mr. White's not the one that told me that oh. because he's, he was not my supervisor at the time. Okay, can okay. you name the supervisor who told you that? He's no longer here with us. Okay. One final point before I uh, sign off on this video. This doofus complains about lack of signage in the area, letting him know that he can't go past an area without some issue. But I just noticed this blurry sign right here in his video. Let's take a quick look at it and see what it has to say. Oh, wait, security screening. So therefore, yeah, this is a secure area. So you've been standing here arguing about this BS nonstop for quite a while, and yet you failed to notice this sign right here. Wow. Come on now, dude. Do better, because this would have let you know that this is a secure area. So, man, this was a big epic fail on your part right here, dude. Yeah, do better. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.